Today I'm going to be teaching you how to check if a game has outside resources and uh, how to find them and obtain them. Um, we're going to start with another Adult Swim game. I know this one uses outside resources. Click on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and load up Hitler. If you can get for free, I'll put the link in the Okay, as you can see, as it loads, it shows all these different files. It, should, it would show more if I opened at the beginning, but it uh, shows all the files that are coming onto it. You got the game.slu, and as you can see, this config.xml is in the same folder. Now that leads me. To, now let me go ahead and turn this music on. That leads me to believe that this game is using that config file, and I'll see, um, we'll see if we didn't know. I'm gonna try downloading this game and show you what I mean. Let me go ahead and download this game. All right, we'll go ahead and get out of this one for now. I think this will work. <clears throat> All right, here's the game. As you can see, it loads, but it doesn't do anything. It's almost like it's not getting to a point in the code to where it should load. Now, in this case, this game is trying to load a specific website. Like it uses the domain name and then it adds. Uh, its own folder that it has the levels and all that kind of stuff. So it's trying to build a, 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 a location for a file at once. In this case, config.xml. Now, this browsers are using file colon slash 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 c slash, and that messes up the process to build the actual um, actual code, the actual config. So what we're going to do is, as we can see from here, that uh, go ahead and I'll worry about URL. You know it's going to be next to the SWF. And you can filter it over here, but I'm just too lazy. Okay, see some SWFs. Swift files. Oh, come on, where's that? Oh, there it is. I'm right on already. <laughs> so we got this SWF here, and we notice that the config is also right here. Uh, to download it, you want to right click on it, say save, you want the response, this is basically what you get, you want the response body, not the entire response that has like data sent back, it's, you don't need the entire response, you just need the response body. So you go ahead and save that, I'm not going to save it because I already have it, and you put it in the folder, uh, same folder as where you saved the game, which in this case is the desktop. Now. That will fix one problem, but if we were to open it, it would look for levels, and I'll show you how to see for that. I'll go ahead and go back to the game. I'll remove all. Alright, once it loads. If it loads, <laughs> you can notice it shows everything that's loaded that comes to your computer basically, which is really nice. And here I can clear it. So I know all the files so far that's been loaded. Uh, usually this is trial and error too, so. It won't always be as easy as this game. Sometimes it'll be a completely separate site and it won't look like it goes together, but it does. So we're gonna hit ride. And we'll go ahead and pick this off. And I'll pick this off. Now if you notice here, it has levels, basics one, and texture.png. Now you need both of those files to make the game actually load. 
Once you have them all, once you have them all, all you really have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and build this one. I don't need it. Uh, once you have them, you can open the Flash from where it's at in the decompiler. And if it works, that means it's good to go. If it plays and you can go to all the levels, see in this case it works. But it will not work in the browser. And I'll show you that right now. See? It's messing up. It's trying to load some file with like this as the domain name. It messes it up basically. So that's how you can check for um, outside resources and how to see if the resources are the problem that reason the game's not loading or not. Uh, normally if it's locked it'll tell you it's locked um, or it will um, go to a different page instead of just freezing at a page. Uh, so yeah, some telltale signs. Um, well, well that's it. Not too hard. That's Chrome 11047 and good luck. Bye bye.